There's just something about a lever action rifle, just really slows things down, but yet you can get a lot of rounds down range with the lever. Uh, very smooth action. I mean, it's just buttery smooth. Benjamin Tyler Henry developed the lever action rifle in 1860, and it was instrumental in the Civil War with a lot of different units really taking over with the sharps and because of the repeatability with the lever action it was devastating on the battlefield and then of course really came into play during the west when the west was tamed and um, you know lever action rifles obviously had just that western feel to it uh, anytime you see a, a lever action i do i feel you know like it's something that won the west and it did and then of course with all the cowboy action shoots and things like that now the henry today is really making exceptional lever action rifles from 4570 all the way down to 22 or 17 HMR and this is one of the golden boys it is a really a beautiful gun from yesteryear I mean the octagon barrel the brass receiver and other accents to it uh, with the buckhorn sights and of course the traditional lever I mean this is a beautiful piece but yet it's still viable for use today. I mean, for plinking, hunting, training, doing all kind of things. Plus, it's just a lot of fun to get out to the range. Okay, first thing we we'll do is make sure the gun isn't loaded, and it is. Now, Henry Arms today is owned and operated by Anthony Imperato, and he's done a fantastic job bringing this company back to the forefront. I mean, this is, to me, the premier lever-action rifle company uh, on the market. One of the things that he says is, made in America are not made at all. And so it's just great to have really high craftsmanship made right here in the U.S. Uh, the beautiful, first thing you'll notice is beautiful uh, brass colored receiver. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Uh, it has a really bright shine to it. And then, of course, the barrel band, even the tangs on this rifle. I mean, look how long that tang is at the rear. And the curved buttstock all the way up. I mean, it's just a beautiful accent. But then you take this octagon barrel and you blend it with it. And of course, the octagon barrel is traditional with the old style and the old manufacturing processes. Uh, it has the black lever and the hammer. So you have the black and brass mixture in here and then beautiful American walnut. And uh, the wood is just exceptional. I mean, everything about this rifle is just quality. And when you look at it, that's the way it feels. Uh, it carries the traditional buckhorn sights and then it has a bead right here, a brass bead at the front. The octagon barrel is 20 inches in length. Now the tubular magazine is brass, it's beautiful and it slides really well. I mean it really is easy to pull in and out. Uh, here you load right here in this little loading gate. Uh, it does, this is 22, 22 short, and uh, 22 long. It's actually listed right here on the barrel. 22 long rifle, it holds 16 rounds. 22 shorts holds 21 rounds. And that's load on Monday and shoot till Sunday. <laughs> it does come in 22 Magnum and 17 HMR, which it'll hold 12 rounds of either one of those. Now, many of the Henry rifles are drilled and tapped right here on the top of the receiver, which makes it really great to add an optic. To keep this more traditional, they didn't drill the uh, up the receiver right here. But what they did was underneath the buckhorn sight, you can remove this, and it's drilled and tapped for a scope. In fact, you can go to the Henry website, and they'll have a cantilever mount that comes back. Uh, I think they're about $27, so they're very reasonable. And then you can place your optic on there. And if you want to take it off to get more traditional, you can go right back to the buckhorn sights. The action is just buttery smooth. I mean, there is no resistance. It just locks into place very nice. Uh, the hammer's really easy to get to. The trigger pull is really crisp. Twenty yards open sight, shooting just a touch to the left. CCI mini mags, easy to see targets. Henry Golden Boy, trigger pull is excellent. I mean, just crisp, clean break. 
The buckhorn sights, you know, it's just a little different. Uh, obviously, it was something that many of us grew up with, especially the older generation. And I know to many of you, I can, I'm considered the older generation. But putting that bead right down into the bottom of the buckhorn where the diamond is, uh, that's where you get your shots. This one was shooting, again, you saw the target just a little bit uh, to the left. But we can adjust those sights. We can adjust the front there and just drift it over a little bit. Now, not only are there different calibers, there's also a youth model which has a shorter barrel and a shorter stock. Uh, the length of pull is considerably less. They also have a large loop version. And in fact, this rifle has, it has the option to change this out for a loop if you want to order one from Henry, which makes it really cool. More again toward the Old West. The overall length is 38 and a half inches. So it's a fairly long rifle but it's really accurate it really gets in there uh, if you really want to see some exceptional accuracy go to 22 plankster's channel he's doing a lot of trick shots with 22 lever action rifles with just the standard sights and uh, the guy's phenomenal plus he's just a great guy anyway the weight on it is six pounds 12 ounces and uh, so it's fairly hefty but yet it's not too bad not too bad to carry in the field if you're doing a lot of hunting the Henry Rifle Company really started out just making 22 long rifles, uh, whether it's in the lever action or their survival line. They bought the Charter Arms survival rifle and they really upgraded it. Um, I did some reviews on those uh, a few months ago and just great little rifles. Uh, but now they're doing what they call the big boy and they have 357, 44 uh, Magnum and 45 Long Colt and they've developed uh, their 4570, which is an exceptional rifle. I've also reviewed that. Um, I'm a big fan of lever actions for a lot of different reasons. And, you know, one of the great things about having a good lever action is that it's a solid rifle. And it, it's one of those that's not a target for the anti-gunners. Especially if you're in a state uh, that restricts magazine capacity or even your ability to own, uh, you know, an AR-15 or an AK-47. And really, these are very quick to put into action. In fact, uh, you know, you can really get rounds downrange quickly. You know, it's funny in the slow motion shots, you almost don't know that the rifle has fired until the action is worked and the round comes out. I mean, it's just that soft shooting. Uh, the uh, Otkin barrel is fairly weighty, but it's very balanced. I mean, this rifle just has an excellent balance to it. Grabbing the hammer, pulling it back, it's just all natural. I mean, this rifle was made for shooters in mind. Uh, you know, and the thing is, when back during those days, especially back in the Old West, when these rifles were designed, uh, men live by the gun, and this is definitely something you could live with. I don't know if you have room for it in your bed, and your wife might not like it, but, you know, it wouldn't be too bad. They raise a lot of money for the NRA. They do a lot of things, uh, and which is really big because, and that's one thing, guys, to remember, is a lot of these companies are very active in the NRA and helping uh, preserve our gun rights. Uh, in fact, they gave over $100,000 last year, and they are raising money right now. They're selling the Henry truck. It has, it's a wrap truck with all the Henry logo on it. It's on GunBroker right now, and I believe the last time I looked, it was at $86,000, which is fantastic. Uh, this money is going to be donated to the NRA. Uh, and then I think it's got another few, few weeks before that auction actually ends. I know there's a lot of imported rifles similar to these coming in. And guys, the fit and the finish just isn't anywhere near where the Henry is. I, I've owned a couple of different ones. They're fine shooters. They're great little rifles. But if you really want something a cut above, uh, even above Winchester and Marlin, uh, the Henry rifle is just definitely a step above. And something you'd really be proud as an heirloom piece to give to your kids, your grandkids, and it will continue on even past that. Now, the retail price on the Henry is $550. I did see it on Bud's Gun Shop for $439, but the real trick is at Academy Sports, $399 at this time. And I don't know how long that'll last, but that is a fantastic price for a 22 lever action rifle. Even better than a lot of the other companies uh, as far as price-wise and definitely as far as quality. Uh, so I want to highly recommend the any of the Henry rifles, but if you really want something very traditional with the brass, which you just don't see that often, and with the Octagon barrel and just the buttery smooth action, uh, I think you'll really find that the Henry rifle is just excellent. For those of you who have seen this already on Full 30 and you said, man, this is a completely different review. 
Well, my hard drive crashed. I lost all my video, all my files, everything. And so this is a brand new review. And I'll tell you what, from that first review on Full 30, I even like it better now. The Golden Boy by Henry Rifles, thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. On YouTube and my heart in 1860 Benjamin Tyler Harry in 1860 Benjamin Tyler Henry